Hello and welcome to my very first floss tube. My name is Kat. Um, I am Wicked Cat Stitch on YouTube as well as Instagram. It has taken me a while to get here, but I am here. <laughs> Long time watcher, first time floss tuber. Um, before I get started, I would like to make a special shout out to Marjorie Maid because uh, she has encouraged me to just get on here and do it. Uh, so I'm doing it. Um, I would also like to uh, make a special shout out to Cam the Stitcher. Um, I reached out to her and we did a fabric trade. Um, and she is just awesome. I mean, if you know Cam, you know. Um, and then I also would like to make a uh, special shout out to Kat from Whittier Stitches uh, because uh, she has been so kind in reaching out to me and talking to me, um, just acknowledging that I exist, uh, which love that for us. Um, <laughs> and it doesn't hurt that her name is also Kat. So those are the three people who I would like to mention. Um, they all do have floss tubes, of course, um, and I'm caught up on all of them. And I can fully say that I highly recommend uh, these three ladies to you at this time. As my floss tubes progress, I will shout out more people, but I wanted to get those ladies mentioned before I get started because thank you. All right. So just a tiny little bit about me before I show you some things. Um, like I said, my name is Kat. My government name is Kirsten. Nobody can spell it. Nobody can pronounce it. So I go by Kat. Um, you can also call me Wicked. I also respond to Your Majesty, Your Highness, whatever you like. Um, I am 44 years old. Yes, this is white in the hair and you will never hear me admit to my age again. Um, what else? Uh, I've been stitching since 2022, however, um, not consistently. Um, I picked it up, I was stitching for about like three or four months and then I stopped, put it away, went back to crochet. I've been crocheting for more than 30 years and picked it back up for like three months and then put it down again. <laughs> so my stitching experience is probably about a year at this point, about a year uh, of actual stitching. Um, but I am more invested in it monetarily and with my time uh, than I am with any of my other crafts at the moment. So I decided to do this floss tube. I hope that it is well received because I really, really, really love this community and I would really love to be a part of it. And I want to meet each and every one of you. So please do reach out to me. My DMs are open. Um, so that is just the tiniest little bit about me. Oh, and I live in Philadelphia. In West Philadelphia. Born and raised on the plate. No. Um, but I am in, in West Philly. So <laughs> I am in Philly. Um, I'm going to show you two uh, finished objects that are from this year. Um, there are projects that I have finished prior to 2024. If you would like to see pictures of those, they are on my Instagram. Um, for this year, uh, we're going to start off with Reflections on a Grecian Urn by Ink Circles. And if you can see, those, color, those are some color changes in there. Uh, Cam's not picking it up too well, but uh, this one is in a 7x7 seven seven frame, which I thrifted, and um, I'm going to be doing more of these uh, Reflections pieces in the future. My next one up on deck is Reflections of Cairo, so I will be doing that one next because I love all things ancient Egypt, let's be real. Um, and uh, they're all going to be done in different floss. Uh, this one was 18 count white Ada and the floss is Siren by Night Stalker's Calling. You will hear Night Stalker's Calling referenced a lot uh, in not just this video but every video I do because I have a lot of their floss and I love all of it. So that was number one. 
The uh, second one is very little, tiny little finish. Um, I am spooky, witchy, gothy, nerdy, and uh, I like skulls a lot. So this is my 2024 skull that I made. Um, this one was also uh, flossed by Night Stalker's Calling. Um, I'll have to look up the name of it. And this is uh, on Skull Sampler number two by Owl Stitching House. They have two skull samplers. I bought them both. I have one and two. But not all of the squares um, are ones that I'm actually in love with. So I decided to just make the individual squares that I like instead of the full piece. And then um, I'll just do one per year. And this one was the one for 2024. If you'd like to see the one for 2023, it's on my Instagram. So <laughs> next uh, we will get into whips. Um, I did have a, actually, I did have a third finish for this year, but it is now living with the person that I made it for. It's a little square. It says no. A picture of it is here. Um, she's a boss babe and she likes having it in her background while she's on video calls so that when people ask her for ridiculous things, she can just be like. So that brings us to what we are working on now. And I have my handy dandy little book and I just want to make sure that I am right. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you this project even though it's not currently being worked. This is uh, Witches and Demons Woodcut by Night Spirit Studio. They have several different woodcuts out and I bought all of them and I'm making all of them. Um, this one was the first one I started. This is actually my second time working on this. Um, I had to scrap it the first time because I miscounted my gridding. And this is my second attempt through it and I just don't like the Ada. It's very, it's very rough. It's very scratchy and it's chewing up the floss and I don't like that. Um, so I'm probably gonna restart this a third time but I wanted you guys to see it because you're gonna see it again. Just. You're going to see it again. This is 18 count oatmeal Ada. Uh, the floss is Shades of Black by Dying for Sass. Uh, Dying for Sass and Night Stalker's Calling are going to be two names that you hear a lot because that's where all of my floss comes from um, if it's not DMC. Um, I'm open to trying other people's floss, uh, but they, I found them both. Um, I've talked to them individually and I really like the relationship that I have with both of these um, amazing floss dyers. So I'm gonna keep the business rolling in their direction. You know what I mean? All right, so another whip that I have for you is something that you guys have probably seen on Instagram if you are involved with all of that. Um, this one was designed by Abby X Stitch. Like I said, we saw this on Instagram and um, like many of the other uh, stitchers, I ran immediately to Etsy and put this in my cart, checked it out and started it. So we have fat is not a bad word by Abby X Stitch. And I am just using some kind of fluorescent pink uh, floss that uh, I got off of Amazon super cheap that I'm trying to use up. Like when I first started stitching and I didn't think it mattered. Um, so I'm just going through that. Um, but I do like the way that it looks on the black with that pop of the bright neon. Um, all right, the next one you're gonna see, by the way, I say um a lot and I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how I stitch while I'm showing you my whips. I figure we'll two birds with one stone it for you. 
this one, and I'm sorry for the zipper sounds, zipper ASMR. Uh, this one is by Screaming Heart Designs, and it is called Death or the death square. And if you can see that floss is just lovely. Camera's not picking it up the way that it should, but uh, this is um, 18 count Ada. Again, uh, most of the things that you're gonna see is gonna be on 18 count Ada because that is my sweet spot. That is my comfy spot. That's where I prefer to be. Uh, two over one on 18 count Ada is where I live. Uh, so, if I don't mention the fabric, just know that it's 18 count Ada. <laughs> if it's not, I will let you know. Um, also, I wanted to say that you're going to see a lot of these needle minders, these Jasmine Beckett Griffith needle minders. You're going to see them on a lot of my projects. All of them came from Mad for Minders, if you would like to get one of your own. Um, but I just happen to love Jasmine Beckett Griffith and everything that she does. And this floss is from Night Stalker's Calling and it is called Disintegrate. So it is purple. It's a little lighter in some spots, a little darker in some spots but it is lovely. I recently started um, converting all of my floss onto floss drops. In the past, it was just on bobbins. And now that I have discovered the glory that is floss drops, I'm gonna be transferring all of my floss onto floss drops. Um, another thing, uh, I stitch on Q-snaps mostly. Um, I do have some on hoops but mostly it's a Q-snap for me. Um, I, depending on the size of the project, either an 11 by 11 or an eight by eight Q-snap, that is what I prefer. Um, I don't have a stand, so I hold the Q-snap and I poke and you know, with the same hand, with my right hand, you just, just pull the same thing. So I stitch rather slowly. Um, again, zipper ASMR. This one, let me see if I can find this one in my notes real quick. It's gonna to be towards the end. This one is Tree of Life number eight. And I can't remember who this was by, but uh, I will put the name of the shop here. And this is Tree of Life number eight. They have a couple different Tree of Life, Trees of Life, I guess. And this one, again, 18 count Ada, and the color Sea Glass by Night Stalker's Calling. Look at those color shifts, the blues, the greens. I love it. Um, this is making me very happy. My project storage bags are these things. Uh, you may have seen these on Amazon um, or from other stitchers who use these. I cannot sew. I do not sew. So <laughs> I have these cheapy, cheapy bags from Amazon um, because I don't have a whole lot of like throw around money to put every single one of my projects in a project bag. And if I put one of my projects in a project bag that's nice and like expensive, and all of my projects are going to be jealous and they're going to want project bags of their own. And I'm just like, guys, I cannot, you know? So then they're like, oh, why does she get a project bag? She must be your favorite. I don't have favorites. You're all my children. I love you equally. All right. We'll go with another one here. Uh, this one is Memento Mori. And Memento Mori is by Raven Stitchcraft. And this one is 
also being worked uh, on 18 count Ada. And this is where we are. This is where we are. And the floss on this one is uh, Night Stalker's Calling Life is Not a Fairy Tale, which I will show you here. So it's a little bit more of a pinky purple, but it has like the light lavenders in it. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Um, what else can I talk about? Since I still consider myself to be a very baby stitcher, the way that I, um, I'm going about building my stash, since I know that I like 18 count Ada and that's a sweet spot for me, I've been stocking up on 18 count Ada. I just recently started buying different kinds of fabric um, hand dyed, uh, is, is very soft and I love it and it's wonderful, but then I'm always a little hesitant to be like, well, what do I want to put on it? Like, I can't just put anything on it. I have to put something spectacular on this fabric, right? So I got a little bit of analysis paralysis with, with that. Um, but I did branch out and I did get myself some 25 count, uh, Lugana by Zweigart and decided to try it for the first time. This is the first time I've stitched on anything that's not Ada. This is natural, like I said, by Zweigart. And I am working this one two over one. And we're getting into the light adjustments here. Two over one tent stitch. I don't know if you can see that real good, but two over one tent stitch and I love it uh, for someone like me who stitches very slowly being able to only do half of my cross fantastic and I'm just motoring through you can see the demon already has a uh, wing oh this is um, another woodcut another demons uh, woodcut from night spirit studio so this is just another one of the woodcuts that I had purchased. So it's not technically a restart of the other one because it's a different design. But depending on how this comes out, I might do all of my woodcuts like this. I like the um, I like the effect that it gives that it's kind of like like scratched into the wood since it is a woodcut. I kind of like that aesthetic that it's giving, making me happy in my uh, down there places. So next up, we do love an ink circle. I have many ink circles patterns that are not part of the reflection series. This one is not part of the reflection series, but it is one that I love. Uh, this is Flox Box by Ink Circles. And this one, again, 18 count Ada, and that floss is called Dance Magic by Night Stalker's Calling. And that is two over one full cross. And this Dance Magic, last time I looked, John and Emily don't have this one in stock right now, but they should be getting more soon. It's very pinky, purpley, speckly, Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Next up, we have a project that I have done twice. Um, this one I uh, have already completed and um, I will post a picture of what it used or what it looks like used to. It hasn't changed. It's still on my wall. <laughs> looks like that. Uh, this is a uh, boho moon landscape from Zephyr mood. And so that's what it uh, looked like when I made it the first time. This is what the pattern is supposed to look like. But if you know anything about Cam the Stitcher, which I'm going to mention her probably more than once, 
Um, she said in her video where she was talking about our fabric trade that I am allergic to orange. She's not kidding. I really am. I don't, I don't like it. So I made the colors my own. And then this one is for a friend. Um, it is not, obviously, it's not the same colors as I made for myself. I have switched it up a bit. Just some random DMC. And this color here uh, is from Night Stalker's Calling, but I don't remember what the name of it is. I don't know if I can get any better on that. Man. These cameras just don't like to pick up the nuances of colors, but it looks really cool. Anyway, so I'm just kind of playing with this one. Uh, we're about 50% uh, of the way through. Uh, now, a little bit more about, since we talked about percentages, I do use Pattern Keeper for all of my patterns. Uh, the only way I know how far I am through a pattern or how many stitches that I've done in a day is because of Pattern Keeper. Because of that, I don't track my daily stitching numbers. If that's something that you would like to know, I can start keeping a record of that for you. Um, however, I'm not at, I don't have those numbers to give you at this point, but I can get them if you want them. Um, next up, this is the Quaker Sampler by Vivster on Etsy. And I know that several stitchers are working on this right now and I've seen many options where there, it can be like patriotic or what have you. Um, I personally just downloaded the mono version and decided to fudge the colors on my own just with random DMC. Where is my backboard thing? Did I put it? I think I gave it to one of my projects. I'm going to have to sort this stuff out. How do you guys do this? All right, so this is uh, the first couple squares that I have on Vivster's Quaker Sampler. But it seems like every time I pick this up and try to do the pink square, I miscount. So I keep like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this pink square. And then I miscount and I throw it. I'm like, oh, forget it. And then after it happened three times, I'm like, is there something wrong with my brain? Um, I do usually, I didn't grid that fabric. I do usually grid my fabric. I use friction pens. I don't use the water soluble pens and I don't use the, um, the easy guide fabric mainly because I don't like to wash my projects if I don't have to. Part of that is because the floss that I use sometimes is not color fast and I don't want to make a mess. So what works for me is I will do the grids and then um, I use a hair dryer to get the, uh, the spots or the lines, whatever I had done out uh, at the end. So that's my process there. Um, I do have an iron and I do iron my projects, but in order to get out those markings, I use a hair dryer. Um, we're not going to look at this one yet. All right. This next one is a long dog sampler. Um, it is called Opening Gambit. That is what it is going to look like when it is finished. This one is, yet again, 18 count Ada. And I am using a floss called Shades of Black. Now let's see if it'll show you. You can kind of see, but that's not a flat black. So, and this is by Dying for Sass. Sorry about that uh, little break there. Uh, my cat decided to expel a hairball. Have I mentioned I have cats? I have two cats named Xena and Orion. They are brother and sister from the same litter. They have never been apart. Um, you may see them at some point <laughs> wandering around. Uh, this next one is All Souls Band by Quiltify Designs on Etsy. Oh, you can kind of, he, he just popped down there. By Quiltify Designs. Um, this one is also 18 Count Ada, and it is being worked with DMC 310 for the black 
and it is also being worked with, where did it go? Disintegrate by Night Stalker's Calling. So I have more than one uh, project with Disintegrate in it. Um, and I just lost my project bag for this. I don't know where my project bag just went. <laughs> Am I nuts? Oh, it's down here. Problems in the world, technical difficulties. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, everything fell out of this bag. I must have just thrown it on the ground. Okay. Yes, um, Disintegrate from Night Stalker's Calling, but uh, they are different dye lots. One of them is lighter than the other. Okay, we're getting a pile over here, which, you know, again, love that for us. Uh, next up, we are going to look at Dancing Witches Woodcut from Raven Stitchcraft. This one, I'll put this over here. This one, again, 18 count Ada. However, the fabric uh, is Chance of Rain from the Digi Stitchery on Etsy. And the floss on this one is Morticia from Night Stalker's Calling. It's a very nice gray which I'm loving. Um, love the chubby witches. Love everything about this. <laughs> like I said, I have many woodcuts. Not all of them are from uh, Night Spirit Studio, but three of them are. Um, we'll see that one for a little bit. Okay, this next one is another long dog. However, this one was started, uh, this is my birthday start this year. And in February. And this one I actually invested a lot of thought into. I am working this with, I'm going to show you the floss before the pattern. I'm working this with uh, Anchor floss for the first time. Uh, this is, I believe, Very Dark Purple, I believe is the name. I don't know. Here's the label information. I really enjoy working with this. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, the only downside to this is that it doesn't change colors. I don't know if you've noticed this through my whip parade, but I do a lot of mono patterns in variegated flosses, and that also seems to be my happy place. Um, so this is the new normal, the new normal, just a tiny little start on that. It's only about a thousand stitches or so. And, uh, working this on some, you know what? I don't, let me see if I can see where I got this from. Fabrics and more. Uh, the name of the fabric color is called dark crystal and it is from fabrics and more on Etsy. Um, then you have my little Ursula needle minder because Ursula is my favorite Disney villain. Yes. I do love octopi, octopuses, tentacly. Um, and keep that in mind because we're going to, we're going to go back and talk about this, uh, in a moment. All right. Next up, we have another ink circles. Are we shocked? No, no, we're not shocked. But I will tell you something about this pattern. Now, this one is Henna Mandala. And I am working this one, funny enough, on 14 count Ada because I was a dum dum. And I thought I was ordering 18 count, but no, I ordered a whole bunch of 14 counts. So this is my little tiny start. It's three over one on 14 count full cross. And again, like I said, you're going to be hearing her name a lot. If you watched Cam the Stitcher's last video that she just posted, 
you will see that she has this needle minder. The reason why is because I ordered two sets of the same four needle minders. <laughs> And since I was doing a fabric exchange with her, I just tossed this one in there because I thought that she might like it. Not made by me. I, I don't sell anything cross-stitch related, fortunately. Unfortunately. All right, and then the last one that I wanna show you is my first, 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 like legit full coverage. Cause that Boho Moon, counts as full coverage, but it's really, it really, I don't know. I don't count it as full coverage. So this one is Faces of Fairy number 74 by Hade. It is a Jasmine Beckett Griffith, and I am not very far. This is all the farther that I am. Oh, this goes, goes, <coughs> excuse me, goes this way. So I've just only recently started it and I am going to, I think my full coverage style is going to be cross country and I think I'm going to do extreme cross country um, color completion. I think I might do that with this, um, but we'll have to see. Now, I purchased this uh, pattern over a year ago and then was so intimidated to start it that I never did. And then finally, I watched a movie or a movie. Well, I mean, some of these floss tubes have a running time that's pretty close to a movie, right? I watched a floss tube by Marjorie Maid, and she was talking about how she loves full coverage, but she has to be in the mood for full coverage. But she was just going on and on and on. And I was like, you know what, Marjorie? You know what, Marjorie? I guess I'll start. <laughs> so I did. And the rest is uh, in the future, I guess, because it's not finished yet. Um, that is all that I have in my little box for my whips. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is how I keep my notes and also WhipGo. Because if you don't know about WhipGo, you should check out Jessie Marie Does Stuff. You can follow her on Instagram. You can follow her on YouTube. She has a floss tube. Um, she will pull her numbers, uh, her WhipGo numbers, actually in a couple days. Today's the 21st. I don't know when I'm going to get this up because I'm going to have to learn how to edit, guys. I have to, I have to learn how to edit. <laughs> Give me some grace, please. <laughs> um. So she has her, uh, she pulls the numbers for the bingo board. You make your own bingo board, right? Which is Whipgo, not bingo, it's Whipgo. This one's mine. Um, she'll pull the numbers, I think on like the 25th of the month uh, for the following month. So right now you can see that uh, the way that I have this done, and this is an Amazon box flap because I'm amazing. So this, the way that it works is when the number is called, I will do the green and, and put a box around it so that I know that it's called. And then when it's completed, I'll fill it in orange. See? And I have uh, each square is 1,000 stitches. So my goal on it is when my project is called or when my number is called, that's 1,000 stitches. If the same project is called twice in the same month, that means 2,000 stitches. And then if I get a bingo, which I'm close to getting a bingo, if I can get these two here, um, then I can purchase something uh, new floss or fabric. I hope I get a bingo soon. <laughs> so that is my whip go. Um, another thing, and this ties into what else does Kat make? Good question. Uh, I also make junk journals. I do not sell them. They are just for me. Um, I'm a big writer. I love to write. I've been keeping a journal since I was like 14 years old. And uh, I told you how old I was before. We're not going to mention again. We are just going to keep that between us. Um, and I will use this. Every page is a pattern with the details. And when I started it, if it's FFO'd, it'll say FFO'd. If it is UFO'd, I will fold it over 
and tuck it away. But yes, I made this lovely, 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 lovely junk journal. And that is what I use to keep track of all of my projects. Um, I know some of you guys like to use a um, online like spreadsheet type thing, um, which is great. I'm very tactile. I like to be able to touch my things um, and hold them in my hands. I have a lot of books. I actually have over 450 books the last time that I counted, um, which was the last time that I moved. Can I tell you, moving with a bunch of hardback books, zero out of 10 do not recommend. Um, but yeah, most of them are hardback books, but uh, I like to hold them in my hand. I like to have them. I have some friends who do the Kindle and they like to read on their Kindle. Um, that doesn't work for me because anytime that I am sitting down physically holding a book and reading it, I am not stitching. So a lot of the reading that I get done is done through Audible. But I do have many, many books. I still read them uh, when I can't stitch, when I'm somewhere, like on a plane. I don't know. Like, I guess you can stitch on a plane, but I had like, a I'm such a new stitcher that I haven't tried that yet. Um, I definitely can't stitch in the car because I get horrible, horrible motion sickness. I didn't used to. I used to love roller coasters and it like started a couple years ago. I started getting sick when I was in the back seat of people's cars. So I'd have to ride up front. And then I started getting sick when I was in the front seat too. So now it's like whenever I'm not driving, I get car sick. What is that about? So yeah, uh, that, 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 that. what is next? Okay, next I want to show you what I sell on my Etsy shop. There will be no more cross stitch talk now. Um, so if you want to go ahead and skedaddle, uh, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Um, if you would like to see what I sell on Etsy, I am going to hold up examples for you if I can find them. Oh, they're behind me. So I told you that I love all the tentacle. I make octopuses, or you can call them octopi. One thing I've been doing lately, did you know, I looked this up. I looked this up once upon a time. I said, is, is it octopuses? That sounds wrong. Or is it octopi? Is it octopodes? Is it octo? I don't know. So I looked it up. Did you know that it is actually correct to say both octopi and octopuses? They are both correct. But I just say octopus and I just pretend that it's plural. <laughs> so I make octopus, plural. <laughs> and I wrote the pattern for these, so I'm very proud of them. Um, you will not find any other seller selling these particular octopus unless they bought them from me and took them apart. Um, which if you're a crafter, you know, the pain of that situation, but here they are. I'm not trying to push my shop too hard because guys, I don't have that many in stock. And if I sell all of my octopus, I'm going to have to stop cross stitching and restock my shop. So just keep that in mind. But I just wanted to show you that I do make these. And I make them in different sizes with different yarn. That is the Bernat blanket yarn. And this is just two random kinds of yarn that I needed to use up. So they just come in different sizes, really. And I hand paint the eyes. If you can see, if it'll focus on you. Focus, don't focus on me, focus on him. There you go, or her. We don't like to assume gender here on this channel. So yeah, uh, that is what I do. A little a background into uh, things that I like to do when I'm not stitching. I did say books. I showed you a couple of my other crafts. Um, I also play d and I am a huge goth nerd, uh, an elder goth nerd. Uh, again, elder. And um, I, I love to um, play video games. Did I say that already? I stream on Twitch sometimes. 
um, but not lately because all I've been doing is stitching and when I sit down to go live on Twitch I just think how many stitches I could be getting in right now <laughs> if I was not on the computer. So I haven't been doing too much with that, um, which is why I'm not really going to plug my Twitch because I'm not even there right now. Um, if I do make it a thing and you guys are interested, we can talk about that later. Um, I don't know. I'm sure I'm forgetting a million things that I wanted to say to you guys, but um, I really just want to say thank you for watching this video, for making it this far, for uh, those of you who followed me before this video was even posted, like, thank you. Um, and I owe all of that to Cam, again, Cam the Stitcher, because she shouted me out and all of a sudden all of these people started subscribing to my, I mean, I say all of these people, but it's like 18 people, which is not a lot in retrospect, but like there are 18 people who were like, oh, Cam said she was cool. I'm going to go follow her just in case she's cool. Like, I love this community and that's why I'm here. And I want to get to know you guys. I want to talk to all of you guys. Um, my D, like I said, my DMs are open, so slide on in there. Um, and yeah, thanks for being here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off this video the same way that I sign off of Twitch. You may take this and use this if you wish. You are the only one who can be you. So go out there and be the best you that you can. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next one.